What is Manchester United's best midfield? Eric Ten Hag has been chopping and changing. We signed Ugarte. Casemiro is on the way out. Erickson's got some life. Maynou struggling this year. What would you say the best midfield for Manchester United is right now? International break, October 2024. I mean, and don't forget about Mason Mount, Mason Money Mount. There's so many options in certain positions that you don't even know what United are doing from a squad planning perspective. But right now, it's got to be Bruno Fernandes. It's got to be Christian Eriksen because he's probably the second best informed, he's probably the most informed midfielder we have at the moment. Manu has not started great. Casemiro has not started great. Mount is injured again. Garte has not started great. But I'm going to have to go Kobe. You know, I'm wearing 21 right now. Kobe, huge fan of the player. I think he is just having a little bit of a off. United's playing like shit, so it's hard to, like, judge any player. But it's very normal for a player like him to have a sophomore slump. I think he's having that. Um, but I still think that's the best midfield. So it's Bruno, it's Erickson, and it's Maynou. Ugarte has a role to play, but he just hasn't come to form yet. Um, and he's getting to know the league. But for me, it's those three. But that three is tough if you're playing against the top side because it doesn't offer you a lot on the defensive side of the pitch. So what is your best United 11 given everybody? Just say everybody's available. Who you like? No, so you just described the midfield we saw against Aston Villa. Uh, Erickson, Manu, Fernandez. I don't think in any way, shape, or form that could be Manchester United's best midfield. Now, right now, he said. Right, right now. now. And then tell us it's your best but midfield. The only way to have this discussion is to say, what was the best midfield for Manchester United most recently? And that was Erickson, Casemiro, and Bruno. That is in Eric Ten Hag's first se season when we were, we, we, I would say for two to three months, we had the best midfield in the league that was really ticking, working very well. Erickson was very dangerous. So I like the angle, but for me, Erickson's definitely aged a little bit. Casemiro even more. I mean, his drop off's been even more so than Erickson. Yeah, and the the main problem in the midfield at Manchester United is the disconnect between us wanting to play a high line and the, but the center backs staying deep, and there's a huge gap in the middle of the park. So when you say midfield, who's actually playing in the Manchester United midfield? And Bruno Fernandes really isn't. And so it is an interesting question, an interesting combination. I think you have to put Ugarte in there if you're just saying, what is our best midfield right now? He has to be playing that role. Casemiro isn't it. He should be it, but Ugarte is the heir apparent to Casemiro. You got to put him there. And right next to him, Kobe Maynou. Amazing Euros. He's going to find form. You're going to see it. And look, I think it's Christian Eriksen, right? Because Christian Eriksen gives you the best combination between attack and defense, where Bruno sometimes is almost a winger or a forward. And so I would like to maybe see Ten Hag experiment with that maybe put Bruno on the wing where he doesn't have defensive responsibility. We can shade almost as a false nine. That could be a better role for Bruno, but we need an engine in midfield that's working. And maybe you need a little more cover for Ugarte, who hasn't necessarily had his best foot forward, but he should be that player for United. So I'm going to go with Erickson, Ugarte, and Kobe Manu. Maybe a little risky thinking for the future. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. But that is the 11 for the future. You know, if they are doing real squad depth planning, and it's not just the manager at the moment picking the players he wants to save his job. They're thinking Bruno as the number 10. You know, who else? He's been, even with a shit start this season, he's been our best player over the last five years by a mile. Ugarte is the Casemiro replacement, like you said. And then Kobe Manu, after his breakout season last year, is that eight to play in between the two. So I think that is it. It's Ugarte, Manu, and Bruno. If this team was playing better... Hopefully that would be the three that you'd see. But like Mason Mount is a super talented player. What about Erickson? Super talented. He's a great player as well, but he could fit in maybe in better form right now than Kobe Mainu as your eight. I, I play Kobe. I play Erickson as Erickson's eight. captain material. Like, he, like Bruno is got like you you're get, benching Bruno. No, I'm not benching Bruno, but we got to say who is like is putting Bruno at the 10 and having the disconnect in midfield the best for the team or should we kind of played his position and maybe push him up the pitch, put him on the wing. Like he, the way he features for Portugal, he doesn't have defensive responsibilities at the end of the day in the middle of the park. And that's why I think maybe an Erickson, he's a little calmer on the ball, cooler head. Like he's kind of been a, a leader this season. And I think that that is the material. And then maybe put Bruno in more of an attacking role. I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it's really, something's not working in the middle of the park. For United right now. And Bruno's not having his best start to the season. 
I don't like to see that either, but we got to change something up, mix it up a little bit because that same old, same old ain't working. Yeah, I don't think he's the problem, but everything is going poorly. You know, I mean, Kobe looks a shadow of himself. Obviously, Casemiro continues to slump. Ugarte, player that we're all but excited about. But is Bruno about. playing well? But nobody's playing well. So no, like, I'm not how trying to I... attack Bruno, but I'm saying, like, I think Eric's least, playing well. But Bruno works hard. So, like, here's the thing. Like, he works harder than half these bluffers. So, like, Bruno, he might be getting his passes wrong. He might be missing shots that he he's should be shot. the ball a lot in the middle Yeah, but of he at least park, works right, hard yeah. off the ball, which is not something you get from all these players. So, like, I don't drop Bruno because I don't see anyone else. Who's I'm not going to drop him. I'm going to put him out on the wing or put him as a false nine. So that's that fine. he doesn't have I'm defensive not... responsibilities. That that that's the controversial take would be like let Bruno get forward, not worry about defending. Get someone like Erickson in who is, and shore up shop a little bit. That was like the thought. I don't think uh, we have the competition or the team where there's any player who's not going to defend. Like there's never going to be a player who cannot defend. Rashford doesn't. Yeah, that's because of his work ethic, not because of like the tactics. That you know, I don't think Eric uh, Alex telling him not to track no, back. I know, I know. I but know. like everybody's got to work hard because that's the only way you survive and we thrive in the EPL. In theory, but we don't press as a unit. You know, there's no like we're we're very disjointed team. We're disconnected in the middle of the park. There's big gaps where there shouldn't be. So like I'm trying to like in that in that midfield solve that, and then allow a player like Bruno like less defensive responsibility so he can focus on getting forward or focus on the end product because we have to have him on the field there's no doubt about it it's just whether or not he should be playing in the middle of the park or we should be playing a 4-3-3 right you could play a 4-4-2 you could play a 4-2-3-1 right you know there's a lot of options here there's too many options what do you do with mason mount like mason mount when he's fit which he never is because his injury record is horrible at united uh should be a starter in this side right i mean you bought him for 60 million he's a hell of a player he won the champions league he should be featured in some way. The problem is, is like when everyone available, I don't even know what you do. You have three tens. What about Bruno at night? Like we're not scoring goals, so it's like you could put him, th- you could put him up top but as a false nine. I mean, know? like uh, tinkering, tinkering, tinkering. I don't think it's tinkering at this point. I don't think it's tactics and formation. It's like the team yeah, doesn't work something. hard. You know, we, we like tinker, manager tinker until it works. Right at the end of the day, but let us know what you think the best Manchester United midfield is down below. Are we crazy? Ugarte, is he the future at man at the midfield of Manchester United? Is Manu's slump going to continue? Let us know what you think down in the in the comments below. Please like, subscribe to the Mayor for Devils on YouTube.